Hey there, gluten-free foodies. Today we're diving into the world of graham crackers. Get ready for a testy ranking of five gluten-free graham cracker brands. Let's find out which one takes the top spot. Stick around for the sweet adventure. Sharon McCaskill. I'm the registered dietitian nutritionist behind the Helpful GF where I help you live gluten-free without the stress. This is my husband Tyler. Hi. He has refractory celiac disease and he's going to be helping me out with this video. So in this video we will be taste testing and ranking five popular gluten-free graham cracker brands. We're going to check them for taste. I'm going to look at the ingredients, um, see if I have any critiques of those. In general though I do believe that with a gluten-free diet, pretty much any food, as long as it meets the definition of gluten-free, does have a place in that diet, unless you have, obviously, other allergies or something like that that keeps that from being part of it. But I think that you can be gluten-free, be healthy, and still enjoy delicious foods like graham crackers and s'mores and things that you make with graham crackers. So we're going to rank these, and yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. So first up are... Honey Grams by Char. Um, I feel like this is what we find the easiest at grocery stores. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Like Walmart sells it. Our little grocery store here in town sells yeah. it. We can find these pretty easily. It's easy. in lots of places around us. Yeah. And this is probably what we eat the most often because of that. <laughs> so it's easy to find. So Char, I like as a brand. They've been around for a really long time. This is certified gluten-free, which means that not only does it meet the definition to be labeled gluten-free by the FDA, but it's gone through independent certification. If I look at the labels, um, the only other allergens in this would be soy. So if you can't have soy, these are not a good option for you. It could contain tree nuts. Um, one thing that I do like about these is they come in like little individually wrapped packs in here, which does make it nice because if we're going to somebody's house for like a cookout or something like that, and we mm -hmm. know they're gonna have bonfire, like your brother does this a lot, right? Yep. Has bonfires. We can just grab like a pack out of this and bring it with us um, for s'mores and things. Um, it has serving size three cookies. It's really about what you'd expect for a snack. It has six grams of added sugar, a little bit of protein, six grams of fat, three grams of saturated fat, 18 carbs. Not much to report on, nutrition-wise. Um, a couple were broken in the package. I'll throw that out there. Yeah. But that's going to be the case with every single graham cracker brand we look at today. Every single one of them. Some of them were broken when we got them. All right, let's taste them. Mm. Yeah, they're kind of crumbly. Very crumbly. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Um, the flavor's good. Flavor's good. A little bit, what's the right word for it? Gritty? Crum, gr gritty? Gritty might be the right word. A little bit gritty. A little bit gritty. Um, but as far, like, as far as gluten-free things go that I've eaten in my life, um, like, this is, in, in my, no, my, my gluten-free world, celiac disease, like, this is, I would, I would eat this at any time it was available if I, if I needed one for some reason. Yeah. You kind of eat you generally get used to gritty or at least as I was growing up, you get used to gritty. So this isn't like, I will say not all of these graham crackers are gritty, right? These are a little bit gritty, but decent, reliable brand. And I would say like for making s'mores, you'll notice the grittiness less, yeah. right? Yeah. But they crumble and they're kind of small, like all other gluten-free things. Super small, really mm -hmm. small for a s'more. So next up we have partake. Um, these are a little bit harder to find, but you can still find them. Like I found these at Target. Mm -hmm. So it's not like they're super difficult to get and they sell them on Amazon. Um, Partake is also certified gluten-free. So again, it's been third-party tested. Some other nutritional things, they're non-GMO verified. If you care about that, I don't really care about that that much, but if you do, um, and they're also certified vegan. So if you are vegan or if you can't do milk or eggs, that's great. And 
Graham cracker guys, most of these have honey. So if you are a vegan, it's gonna be a little bit harder for you to find a gluten-free graham cracker that doesn't contain honey. This is your probably your best choice or one of your better choices. The one thing I will note is that these do contain oat flour. Um, I'm not concerned about that in this because it has that third party certification and that really lessens the risk of that containing any gluten from cross contact. But if you cannot tolerate oats, again, just something to think about with this. Um, it really has, serving size for this is about three crackers as well. They're about the same size as the char. Yep. It has about the same amount of fat, carbohydrates, and sugar per serving. A little bit less protein, a little bit less saturated fat, but like not much, negligible. Um, so I wouldn't worry about that. It's also a dedicated peanut-free facility. So if you have to watch out for peanuts, this is also a great option. Anything else to say about these? Not yet. Let's try them. Oh, they come in one giant package. That might be worth noting. All right, here we go. Mm. Less crumbly. Yeah. Definitely less crumbly, better texture. Yep, the not gritty. Aftertaste? A little bit? Or am I making that up? Um, a little bit. I wonder what that is. It's almost like it's missing. I wouldn't say it's an aftertaste. But it's like a sharpness. Yeah. Almost. They're a little less sweet. They have a little bit of a sharp taste, and I'm not sure what that is. And obviously, the they're, they're, it's, the other ones, the, sh the sharp ones definitely taste it. You can definitely taste the honey. These ones, obviously, yeah, that, that's the difference in flavor. So it's a different flavor. Right. The cinnamon? Maybe it's cinnamon. It's Maybe got a hint of cinnamon in it. Might be a little bit like spicy, which I love spicy yeah. food, so I wouldn't say it's spicy. It has something, something different than a normal graham cracker. That's good. But texture wise, it's these great. are great. Yeah. These are great. It's like legit cookie texture. Yeah. I it's like good. these. I like those a lot. I'm a fan. All right, next we have Pamela's. Pamela's is a brand like Char that's been around for a long time. Like when we first got married and gluten-free food was hard to find, yeah. this brand we found a lot um, or ordered. So things about Pamela's, again, certified gluten-free. I'm pretty sure all our choices today that we're trying are certified gluten-free. So they have that extra taste test. They do contain milk and they also contain oat bran. So if those are things that are concerning to you, that's something to notice. Um, they have higher carbs, but they actually have a little bit of fiber. Neither of those options had fiber, um, but a little bit more sugar. So one of the things that I think is really cool about these that the other ones don't have is they're bigger. And if you can see, they're more like a normal graham cracker where you can split it down the middle. So if you're actually looking for like a legit size more, Pamela's, did it. They're bigger. They did it. You can, they're bigger graham crackers. Don't you know marshmallow's not gonna <laughs> overflow. Over <laughs> Marshmallow ratio will be good. Um yeah, and on the back, I don't know if this makes a difference for anyone, but it does like have a recipe for s'mores in the microwave. But um it also has like graham cracker crust directions. But again, any of these graham crackers, especially if your goal is to make a graham cracker crust. I didn't try these other two brands yet. My bet is any of these three would be fine for a graham cracker crust, right? right? For like crumbling it up. All right, let's break it in half and try it. Mm. They're super buttery. The first ingredient's butter. I should probably only eat one bite. <laughs> I do There's, mostly it, dairy it free. Is, it is buttery. It's like shortbread. Yeah. <laughs> it's mm -hmm. like graham cracker flavored shortbread. And the it's the, super buttery. The texture is pretty good it's I, I put it somewhere the texture as far as like crumbliness goes somewhere between char and the partake but probably closer Agreed. to the partake they bit. hold together pretty well super buttery that's my review it, it might be a flavor you like though the, all three of the ones the char the partake they all the taste animal, different they all taste different different flavors so it might be one of those deals where depending on which one you, you like better might be one of the reasons why, just flavor wise, might be a reason yeah. to go with one over another. Next, we have graham cracker brands that are more of a like snack cracker, like littler ones. So, we're gonna do Simple Mills first. This is smaller, like you cannot make a s'more out of this. Nope. Right? But 
snacking wise. We'll see how they go. So if you tend to eliminate most or all grains, and if you are trying to be paleo, something like that, you are probably familiar with the Simple Mills brand. They make that type of stuff. Um, all their stuff is grain free. These are certified gluten free, they're non-GMO. And what's kind of cool about Simple Mills is they list all their ingredients right down the side in an easy to read way. Um, and you can pronounce all of it, which I do appreciate. One note is that they contain cashew and coconuts. All their stuff is pretty heavy on nuts. So if you can't do nuts, this is not the brand for you. Um, first ingredient, seed and nut flour blend. So that's made out of watermelon seeds, cashew, sunflower seeds, and flax. Watermelon, watermelon seeds? seeds. <laughs> You're used to weird things when you eat gluten-free. I've never had watermelon seeds though. I don't it's... think I have either. Um, tapioca, arrowroot, coconut sugar, coconut oil, honey, honey extract, etc., etc. Um, one thing to note is, although I appreciate like the whole foods-ness in here and that it comes from whole foods, it is still a processed food and some people will spend more money on this because of that and that's a fine choice and I appreciate that choice. Like I make that choice sometimes too. Um, just one thing to note, when we talk about the general macros of this, it has more added sugar than the honey grains. Not natural sugar, added sugar. And the total carb count is higher than some of the other options um, for about the same amount of grams. So not grams as in like gram crackers, but like grams as in weight, <laughs> okay? So they're like the same amount. You're getting more of some of those things. Those are really good. They're crunchy. Yeah, and they're not gritty at all. This tastes like a graham cracker. Like, um. Like Teddy Grahams. Yeah, I have a vague recollection of Teddy Grahams, but it. From when you were like nine. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like, they're, they're like, they're harder, like, like crunchier, you know. I like these. These taste just like Teddy Grahams, they're good. obviously. They'd be great for a snack. Yeah. What if you can't make a s'more on them, but like if you want to snack on graham crackers. Yeah, they're good. I like them. So our last one is Mary's Gone Cookies. And like I was saying with the other one, these do come in different flavors. Right on the side, it says they make honey, which is what we're trying. They make a chocolate and they make a cinnamon. So, oh, dog's down there. It's like, what are you doing? Okay, these are gluten-free certified, just like everything else. Like I said, all these products are certified. They are USDA organic, they are non-GMO. So if that's something that you're paying attention to, there's that. Some things to note, they do contain oat flour. So if you can't do oats, not a great option for you. And they are manufactured in a facility that produces soy and sesame. So if you have a problem with either of those, you'll have to see if they meet your expectations. Um, fat, carbs, fiber, protein, they have a little bit less added sugar than everything else by like, I think the least amount of added sugar in any of the other options was six grams. This only has five grams for the same amount of product. Um, so a little bit less added sugar. Based, so no milk, no eggs. Her dog's being a weirdo. All right, let's try these. Again, they're small, so no s'more out of this. They also seem very thick. Cardboard. <laughs> Do they? These are very dry. Wow. I mean, all cook, all crackers are dry, right? But like the the they're they're dry. The the flavor doesn't make up for it. They might need that extra gram of sugar. <laughs> Maybe. Let's rank them. All right. Start with our first one. We had Char first. Where would you rank it? I think I'd put that. Is a B? Is it B? I put it as a B. I'm okay with that, but I think I'm tying some things for A, so I might push it down to C. Okay. B or C? 
Yeah. I'm editing the video, so I'll probably make it a scene. Mm. Of course. <laughs> of course you will. Because I can. Partake. Uh, I put that in solid egg. The texture on that was great. Texture was good. I love that they're free of all these other things. I can eat them, et cetera, et cetera. Hey. Yeah, and I think the only, the only thing to like is if you wouldn't, like the, the flavor was very. Yeah, I don't know what that was. It does have rosemary extract, which seems a little strange. Maybe that's what I was tasting. Maybe. There's something there, but like, I it's think good. that when it comes to partake foods, like I've had a lot of their cookies and stuff. This might be one of my favorite ones of their items. Like it was good, solid. Hey. Hey, yeah. Next we had Pamela's. It tasted like shortbread. It didn't taste like a graham cracker to me, but the texture was fantastic. I mean, and that butter taste was yummy. I haven't had butter it, in a long time. It was good. <laughs> and I think that between those, those first three bit, like that's probably the biggest thing is if, if you like the flavor of one over the other, like it, you might prefer one over the other. Um, but texture-wise, they texture were fantastic. Texture-wise, it was, it was like right in that. And props to them for giving us an actual graham cracker size graham cracker. Yes, that you can actually do a s'more on. <laughs> yeah. Like really well without you can do your marshmallow overflow. On the partake and char, but it's going to, when you squish it down, marshmallows. They made real everywhere. size graham cracker. A? Yeah, A. I'll give them A. Simple Mills, S. Yeah, they're superb. They're my best. Fantastic. You can't make a graham cracker. That's the caveat. That would but be like, the downside, but I'm gonna eat these when we are done with the video because yeah. they were really good. They're very good. Don't eat them all on me. I when we bag gluten free snacks, he eats them all, and the rest of us don't get any. Only sometimes. <laughs> uh, Mary's gone cookies. I, I, D. It was, I did not enjoy it. Agreed. Didn't enjoy it. Agreed. D is the lowest on this because we only had five. So my chart only went to D. I'm putting it at D. Um, Mary's gone. I appreciate the brand for making pretty wholesome items. Like they do a good job of trying to like incorporate the whole grains and things that you definitely miss in some of these other items. The taste just was not there for me for this. Like, right. I'm not sure our kids would eat these. No. And I would eat them if it was the only option and I really wanted a snack, but. You could probably make a graham cracker crust out of them and it would be all right. Maybe that's what we'll do with them. <laughs> yeah. Anything else to say? Thanks for watching this video. I hope that this helps you make a decent decision when you got to buy graham crackers. Honestly, I would take any of these graham crackers. This, I would not recommend. Any of these, I think, would be great options. I wouldn't go through crazy lengths to try to scout out one over the other necessarily, unless there's a reason you need to do so, like you can't have dairy or you can't have soy or whatever it is. Um, unless there's that added reason, I would be fine with any of these options. Um, like I said, except for those. <laughs> I really didn't like them yeah. um but these are fantastic so if you liked what you saw like the video subscribe for more content so you get my new videos that release every week check out my website for a more thorough review on these um as well as easy ordering links and those should be in the video description as well if you have a gluten-free product that you want us to taste test comment it below and we may feature it in an upcoming video Thanks for watching.